Good morning, guys. So, I'm going to go over and start a playlist that is just going to be called Chevron Logos for Churches. That way, when people see the, the number of churches that, look, this guy's using an orange and a chevron. Those are both hidden number 33s. It's no different at all than Stephen Furtick's video, or Stephen Furtick's church. And his church is elevated, and this guy is raised. Well, raised to life also happens in Freemasonry with the strong grip of a master mason, the lion's claw or something like that. And that's all these people are doing. They're just repeating. Place to reflect. Our doors are open. What are we supposed to imagine? Because according to scripture, it's the faith once preached, which means it just gets read out loud. This is completely normal what these guys are doing. It's it's Freemasonry. They're Luciferians. They're just trying to get people to participate in what they want you to participate in. It has zero. And when I say zero, I mean zero to do with the faith once preached. The faith of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob has nothing to do with a church that's called Dare to Imagine Church that has Freemason logos. All right, guys. Short one. I'm not going to put any, any of the proofs that that's what this is. I'm going to make a new um, playlist, and everything inside that play playlist will be I think I must have five or six videos at least showing that the chevrons are a hidden number 33 and that when there's three of them together, it's a hidden number 666. And they're using um, Gematria from uh, the, the English Gematria to be able to come to these conclusions. So I love you guys, but when you see churches that are using chevrons, they're just telling you they're Freemasons, they worship Lucifer, and they're going to try and get you into the one world order that's you're already inside of it when most of these churches are the ones that are talking about the prosperity and the prosperity and here comes a great reset and a great wealth transfer freemason buzzwords they're trying to get you to follow them to the lake of fire come out of these churches the faith once preached is inside scripture but you don't need these guys to give you their theology about scripture you just have to read it out loud the way to test if these guys are are truly following Yeshua is to the law and the testimony. So the Hebrews were the ones that stuck to the law, and the Christians are the ones who are saying the law is gone, but the testimony is here. And the Hebrews are the ones that are saying the law is here, but there is no testimony of Yeshua being the fulfillment of the Torah. And therefore, you have to come according to the law and the testimony, if a man doesn't come speaking according to these words, bringing both, then there is no truth in him. I love you guys. Come out of the beast.